Does anybody else that watches me have kids that like went trick or treating and you made them give you a little bag of candy? <laughs> Isn't that why we have kids? So welcome back to the channel everybody. I am so happy to finally be back on. It's been a minute since we posted a video. The mini series took a lot longer than expected with all the like editing, thinking we had like tons of footage and then all of a sudden <laughs> there was not as much footage once you like edit out, you know, long like lulls of no activity or no speaking. <clears throat> and so we got three episodes out of it, which is probably as much as we're gonna get without it being a really, really short video. Um, moral of the story is that we did not completely finish. We got the storage to a comfortable place, a place that's much more organized, and the next time we go in there, there won't be hardly anything to do. Really, it's more of the like, little final touches. Um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to come on. I have gone to a couple of little garage sales here and there. Um, the season has is, is has been winding down significantly. Um, and so there's just been like a few sparse ones. Um, and we did find some cool stuff. Some stuff I don't really know a whole lot about. Um, we bought this tin. I know that there's pins in it because when I like when we were at this garage sale, um, like I had opened the top and just noticed that there was pins in there. I don't know how many, I don't know what all kinds. I don't know if there's anything like in here. It's pretty heavy. Um, and the guy gave us this whole thing for, um, I think it was three or $4. Um, and the front says services celebrates USAF 50th anniversary 1947 to 1997. So that in itself was super intriguing to Gabe and myself. Um, and so we'll go through that. I have some little Christmas finds. Oh, these little guys are hiding over here. I just thought they were so cute. I haven't looked them up. Um, there are some things that I did like very quick comp outs um, in the moment. Um, and so some of these were actually bought from a fellow YouTuber, well, his mom, <laughs> um, Finding Goodies and Finding Goodies 2. They, um, they actually, we actually met because they had come to my yard sale a few months ago and I just got a great vibe from them. Um, I didn't necessarily have what they were looking for because, like myself, they are resellers. And so, like, all of my eBay stock is the kind of things that they would be looking for. But what did spark was that when I saw that they were having a yard sale, I made sure to go. We chatted. They gave Kimra, or the assistant, the cutest little uh, unicorn and then this cute little doll, which I saved the shoes because I know those are, like, the most important part. <laughs> When you're a mother and a reseller or a parent and a reseller and you decide you're gonna let your kids play with something that could be resold, you take like the most important part. <laughs> Make sure they don't get lost. Um, and so his mother was selling some of her stuff and she had a lot of Christmas stuff and so that was obviously intriguing to me. Um, and then we had gone to a an estate sale and I found some salt and pepper shakers you already know but they are so this one these ones are my favorite I don't know if I'm looking at the right comps or if I found the like the correct thing I did google lens and I chose the closest I could find but these actually comp out lower than these ones and I paid less for these ones so I mean like there's a bigger profit to be made but these are the different um, salt and pepper shakers and it is a set I have both you know in the set um, and at that same one we also found other Christmas stuff I was trying to find where I put um, the other Christmas stuff because we have 
like five bins of holiday um, inventory, which I've been posting. So if you are in need of some like really awesome vintage Christmas stuff, go to our eBay, PNW Flips. There's all kinds of stuff. I accept offers on anything. Um, so as long as you're not like trying to severely lowball me, like we can make a deal. Um, but at that same one, I found this one, this keepsake ornament from Hallmark and it is from 1982. It is the Santa face. Um, back then it was 450. It's just crazy to me. This is like, wait, this is before I was born. Like Gabe was only a few years old. So it's just so cool. Um, but some of these awesome finds. So these are the ones from Finding Goodies um, yard sale. And we'll go and we'll go deeper into everything. I just want to give you kind of a, a looksy loo, a looky loo at what we're gonna be going over. And then there's this guy. And then again, the little. <laughs> Trying to avoid a disaster before it happens. Um, and then obviously these cute little guys. And so, let's get going. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna start with these Greek looking, and I can't make out the, so they do have like a stamp on them, but I can't really see, very well. I can see that it says Greece. So, <clears throat> for any of you newer resellers, if you did not know, <clears throat> Google Lens is absolutely amazing. Um, there's an app for it. It just says Google, but if you click on it, the search bar, um, it has the microphone where you can speak to what it is you're wanting to search for. And then it has this little like TV camera, whatever it is, looking icon. And you click that. And then you just do a search with your camera. Do you want to take like a good shot? Searching, searching, searching. And this is kind of like what it would look like. Um, and oh, oh, here we go They're on Etsy. Okay, is there any? Let me see if there's anything on eBay. So down in the comments, I want, or I ask that if anybody can kind of tell me the, I guess the pros and cons of, um, say when you're like looking to, you know, if you can't find something on eBay and you're trying to figure out how to price it, what other places do you go? Do you use like Etsy? Cause a lot of stuff will pop up as Etsy. Um, and obviously I don't want to price things too high, but I also don't want to price them like so low that I lose money, obviously, because the name of the game is to, is to make money. That's why we, that's why we do what we do. Um, besides the love of the hunt, I feel, um, I love to find really awesome things. Okay, so here I found it on Etsy and that's my question is like, is that a, a sufficient reference to price something? And so we did find it, it's the exact ones. So I'm gonna click on that. And they're selling them for 18 and they, and these did sell. How crazy would that be if these were like it? I think that was it. This was the one. No, it can't be. This is from like, this was just sold. And I bought these at a, at a, the, at the estate sale like a month ago. Okay. I'm wondering, day, it says day spring. Oh, that's the name of the seller. Duh. Be smart, be smart. I cannot. I can just see Greece, made in Greece. 
Anyways, if you know, so here is the item. That, those are the exact salt and pepper shakers. So if anybody has any information about that, I would love to hear from you. Um, because I, I had, I had planned on doing the set for 15, which kind of looks like that falls in line with what other places, other pla there's one other place, Etsy, um, is doing. Uh, so now I'm going to move on to our little, our little apples. I did not find any, um, like stamps or anything. These are clearly hand-painted. So let's, let's see the best way to... Here we go, Inesco. I don't know if these are the same though. It's 44. It's either 44 or HH. I'm not quite sure. But again, if anybody knows anything about this, I would love to hear from you as well. Ooh, I think I found them. Yeah, these are definitely it. Ooh, wow. So these actually go for. 50 brand new, which these are clearly not brand new, um, from replacements.com. Let's see if I can, it just takes me to replacements.com. It doesn't take me to eBay. So these are the England back, back stamp. Um, if you have a more efficient way or a more consistent way of finding items that not are not necessarily super easy to search up on eBay. I would love to know. Um, from what I can see, these just go for about 50 brand new and it's looking like about 20, 25 on eBay. Okay, so um, these do not have the the bottom, the stopper, so I would have to do that after I clean them up. Um, I did want to take just a moment <laughs> and say that if you have made it this far in the video, you might as well just take a second to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, um, so that we can keep bringing you awesome content. Let's look this bad boy up next. Subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Be safe. Bye.